plastic pollution is a major issue for us. Lots of plastic gets into the oceans from dirty streams and rivers. This plastic ruins the homes of many sea animals. Experts say that if we don't change our ways, there might not be any sea life left by 2050. In this episode, we'll dive into the inspiring story of the ocean cleanup and their latest breakthrough. Time is running out, but there is a glimmer of hope. Right now, the biggest ocean cleanup project ever is underway. Enormous floating structures are being deployed to tackle the task of cleaning our oceans. But is this idea too far-fetched, or could it truly be the solution we need to save our oceans? Let's delve into the details and discover if this ambitious plan can become a reality and bring about the salvation of our precious marine ecosystems. 25 years ago, Captain Charles Moore made a horrifying discovery during his voyage in the Pacific Ocean. He stumbled upon a colossal mess of plastic, now famously known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This gargantuan collection of plastic is like a swirling soup that moves in a circular pattern with the ocean's currents. It spans an area three times larger than France. Shockingly, the entire garbage patch is estimated to contain around 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic, which amounts to roughly 250 pieces for each person on Earth. But the distressing reality doesn't end there. There are four more of these massive garbage patches scattered across our oceans and they are growing in size. The impact on marine life is devastating. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch alone directly harms over 800 species of marine creatures. They face entanglement, ingestion of plastic, and destruction of their habitats. Moreover, the threat of extinction looms over more than 100 species due to the alarming levels of plastic pollution. Ever wondered why nobody had taken the initiative to clean up the ocean? This very question crossed the mind of Boyan Slat, the visionary behind the ocean cleanup. It all began in 2011 when he was scuba diving in Greece and was shocked to witness more plastic than fish in the ocean. Determined to make a difference, he pondered over a solution, despite being just 16 years old at the time. Slat had a breakthrough realization. Rather than chasing after the plastic, he could harness the power of the ocean's currents to bring the plastic to him. This idea struck him while he was still in school, and he bravely shared it at a TEDx conference in 2012. Unfortunately, his idea didn't gain much attention, leading him to pursue aerospace engineering in college. However, his burning desire to clean the ocean persisted, and after merely six months, he decided to drop out of college and embark on the ocean cleanup journey solo. With no investors and only $300 from his own savings, Boyan Slat set out to clean the ocean. In March 2013, Fortune finally smiled upon him. His inspiring TED Talk caught the attention of news outlets, spreading like wildfire across the internet. Suddenly, he found himself with support and received an initial funding of $90,000. What was once just a dream now became an earnest reality. The vision to clean the ocean was taking shape. The outpouring of support for Boyan Slat and his mission was truly remarkable. It wasn't just financial contributions that flooded in. People also offered their expertise to assist him. A hundred dedicated scientists and engineers volunteered their time and knowledge to determine the scale of the ocean cleanup and how best to achieve their ambitious goal. After careful consideration, they decided to tackle the most significant challenge first, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This gargantuan garbage patch surpasses all others in size, surpassing the combined magnitude of the remaining four patches. Simultaneously, they devised a plan to install interceptors in rivers, effectively halting the flow of plastic into the oceans at its source. With the combined efforts of passionate individuals and innovative solutions, Boyan Sled and his team set their sights on making a substantial impact in cleaning up our oceans starting with a formidable task of addressing the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. In September 2018, the ocean cleanup embarked on a significant milestone by testing System 001, the world's first ocean cleanup system of its kind. This innovative system consisted of a 600-meter floater net and a 3-meter deep skirt deployed in the ocean. The design of the floater was carefully crafted to prevent plastic from floating above it while the depth of the skirt ensured that plastic couldn't flow beneath it. 
This created a safe space for marine life to swim below the system without being affected. Utilizing the power of ocean currents, the system and the plastic it captured were carried along. The plastic was naturally drawn into the system's U-shape as the edges of the skirt gradually deepened towards the center, allowing the current to generate the desired shape. At the heart of the U-shape, a retention zone acted as a funnel, securely holding the collected plastic. To ensure effective monitoring, the system was equipped with solar-powered lights, cameras, sensors, and anti-collision systems. This technology allowed the ocean cleanup to track the system's progress and evaluate its success in real time. When the time came, a dedicated ship would journey to the cleanup system, collect the accumulated plastic, and transport it back to land. Once on shore, the plastic would undergo recycling processes to be transformed into new products, minimizing waste and maximizing sustainability. After years of envisioning and refining the concept, Boyan Slat's long-held model was finally put to the test as the system sailed into the ocean. The team eagerly awaited the results, hoping for a resounding success in their mission to combat plastic pollution and restore the health of our oceans. The initial model of the ocean cleanup system proved to be a disappointment as it failed to effectively catch and retain plastic, with a significant amount slipping out. Additionally, an 18-meter section of the system disconnected and broke, requiring a reassessment of the design. However, Boyan Slat remained optimistic, recognizing that early transportation systems also faced challenges. The primary concern was understanding why the plastic was escaping. Considering the complexities of currents, wind, weather conditions, and the system's impact on the sea. Despite setbacks, the team was determined to learn from these experiences, return to the drawing board, and find solutions to improve the effectiveness of the ocean cleanup system. By July 2021, a crucial upgrade was in order, leading to the launch of System 002. This time, the floater was towed at a speed of 1.5 knots by two ships positioned at each end. Amidst the chaotic nature of the ocean, Having ships control the floater's speed brought a sense of order to the process, preventing plastic from toppling over. Furthermore, the floater itself was extended to 800 meters in length, making it one-third larger than the previous model. Another key objective of this upgraded system was to identify the target hotspots, recognizing that the density of plastic within the Pacific Garbage Patch varied. With higher concentrations closer to its core, the team strategically focused their efforts on these specific areas. By doing so, they aim to extract the maximum amount of plastic from the ocean, optimizing the cleanup operation. A year after its launch, System 002 showed promising signs of success. By July 2022, a significant milestone was reached as 100,000 kilograms of plastic were extracted from the North Pacific Garbage Patch equivalent to the weight of two Boeing 737-800 aircraft. However, it was evident that there was much more work to be done. This accomplishment accounted for merely 0.1% of the entire garbage patch, representing a small fraction of the overall problem. Celebrated as a major victory, the process took ocean cleanup an entire year to complete. Extrapolating from this time frame, it became clear that it would take approximately 1,000 years to clean up the entire North Pacific garbage patch if the same approach were repeated annually. Given that the patch is three times the size of France, the progress made by ocean cleanup covered just 2% of the area of Paris. This realization marked the beginning of a long journey for ocean cleanup. In response to this milestone, Ocean Cleanup expressed their readiness to advance to System 003, now referred to as System 03, building upon the validated technology and aiming for significantly higher plastic capture rates. System 03, which will be three times the size of its predecessor, will feature a floater approximately 2.4 kilometers long, with the potential to capture plastic at a rate 10 times higher than the previous version. System O3's increased size, improved efficiency, and enhanced uptime are expected to yield remarkable results. It is estimated that 10 such systems would be sufficient to clean the entire Pacific garbage patch. Notably, Ocean Cleanup made adjustments to the naming and operational aspects of System 03. Initially envisioning the need for hundreds of systems, they now recognize that fewer than 100 systems would be required prompting the removal of a zero from its name. In terms of boats, System 03 will involve three vessels, 
two dedicated to holding the system in place, and one for collecting the plastic as the operation progresses. These boats will continuously rotate their positions, with one boat returning to shore every two weeks to be replaced by another boat carrying fresh supplies and with a new crew. As we come to the end of this video, we hope you found it informative and inspiring. The Ocean Cleanup and System 03 are shining examples of the dedication and innovation needed to tackle plastic pollution in our oceans. Remember, the fight against plastic pollution starts with each one of us. Together, we can make a difference by adopting sustainable practices and supporting initiatives that prioritize our planet's well-being. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Superstructures. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Together, let's build a cleaner and brighter future for our oceans.